last time at District D. That's me. Thank you for clicking on this video. Welcome to meal prep. Yep, it's another meal prep. I am meal prepping breakfast this morning and I am having a carrot cake French toast bake. That's what I was feeling. I was feeling carrot cake in a French toast. That's what I was feeling. So when I feel something, you get to see it. So let's get started and make our, for one, in our little mini loaf pan, our carrot cake French toast. I'm excited. One cup, one teaspoon of ceremonial grade matcha. I am using pure chimp and some ice. Tasty. New find at the store. It is almond and coconut milk. Unsweetened. Let's make a latte, a matcha latte. All right, let's get started. In my bowl, I have two eggs. Now you absolutely can do this in half if you think this is too much. One egg, one piece of toast. We're going to put a little vanilla extract, just a teaspoon. A little dab will do me. And I happen to have some pumpkin. Now, I'm hoping it doesn't make it too pumpkin-y, but I want to use it up. So I'm just going to throw a little, like, teaspoon. It's not even a tablespoon. Does it? I'm hoping that it'll add a little color to it as well. So we're going to add that. We're going to add some cashew milk, which I don't have. I'm going to do about almost half a cup. I'm going to do a little less than a half a cup. So, no, let's do a third. We'll try a third. I can always add more. Can't take it out, but can add it back. So we did a third cup of cashew milk, a taping tablespoon of pumpkin. Get it all incorporated in. All right, brown sugar. I'm trying a brand new brown sugar. I want it in a contest. It is called Pure, P-Y-U-R-E. So I don't know how it's going to be, but I'm interested to try it. I'm going to put, that's a tablespoon. What about a tablespoon and a half? I don't know, I feel like I want it sweet. <laughs> I'm in for a sweet breakfast this morning. All right, that is so far. All right, baking, I think baking powder, I'm not sure if it's even necessary, but we're gonna put it anyway. Cause I don't know, I always put it in. Teaspoon and about a quarter teaspoon of salt. I do think that's necessary. That must get some of the pumpkin. This goes with the baking powder. baking powder. Bring up this piece of baking powder. Okay, we're gonna do Cinnamon. I'm gonna do about a quarter teaspoon. It's only for one. I don't want to be overpowering you with cinnamon. And 
then, of course, you can't have carrot cake without carrots. All right. Let's get this out. Let's get this mixed, and then we'll get this out of... Well, I'm gonna do, let's see, my cuppy here. I'm gonna do a half a cup. Hey, you know what? Make it healthy. It's a vegetable, right? And two slices of your favorite light bread. I am using 647 Italian, and you know, I always love my light bread in my French toasts. We just mix, 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 mix. Yeah, you could add raisins, you could add pineapple. Oh, wait a minute, I think I have pineapple. <gasps> See what happens when I talk? I am, again, making this on the fly because it's what I felt like this morning. So I think I have pineapple. I do believe I have some pineapple. So, you know, I'm going to add a tablespoon. Crushed pineapple that I will drain. Leftover from last week's meal prep. You know what? Let's do two tablespoons because it's it's zero. It's a pineapple. There we go. How fun is this going to be? I'm really excited. Oh, like I said, if you had raisins, you had you want to put nuts because there are nuts. Coconut would be really good. I made a mess here, but you know, if you're not making a mess, you're not cooking. That's what you know. What we always say. So look at that. I mean, it actually looks pretty healthy. At least I tell myself that. So I have one of my mini loaf pans that I got at the Dollar Tree. Spray it with, I always spray with nonstick spray. And we load it up, fill her up. These are a great, perfect amount. So check out your Dollar Tree so you can get these. These are in the harvest section of your DT. All right, now we're gonna bake this for about a half an hour. We will come back. And you'll see how she unmolds. Wish me luck. Oh my goodness, she's glorious. Look at that. Oh yes, bake for 30 minutes. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna let her sit here for a few. I'm gonna unmold her and we're going to put a little syrup and we're gonna eat her. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. So it's kind of like dessert for breakfast in a sense, but you know what, with a healthy spin. Like I said, you could cut this in half and make half. It wouldn't cut, obviously not be as puffy, but you know what? Maybe you only want one egg and one piece of toast. But yeah, I go for I go for broke here. So yep, we're gonna unmold her in a few. All right, I thought I'd show you how to unmold it because I do get asked this a lot, and you know maybe it'll be helpful. I have a knife. I usually use a thin one, and I just go around the edges, make sure she's not sticking. And I tried it while it's pretty hot because I feel like if it cools, it may stick more. So, the watch it is. And I think these stonewares just bake better because I think it's more even. It's kind of like, um, what is it looking for? Um, cast iron. There's a more even bake to these. All right, you've got to put your muppin on. And I just kind of flip it over. That wasn't pretty, but that's basically how I do it. There you go. She ain't always pretty, but you know what? This is the bottom. I'm gonna flip it on its right side too, right away. There we go. So there you go. Let it cool for a few minutes because we do want to eat it when it's hot because it is French toast. So we'll let it cool for a minute and we're gonna plate it up and put a little syrup. You could put any kind of syrup, caramel syrup, maple syrup, whatever syrup you jive for. Chai syrup would be good on this too if you have that. But we're gonna let it cool for a minute. We're gonna grab a plate and we'll plate her up. Breakfast this morning <laughs> is a French toast bake. It is a carrot cake French toast bake. If you're interested in seeing this, it'll be on my meal prep 
video that will go up on the 28th, which is this coming Sunday. All I had to count is the bread. Everything else is zero point foods for me, which doesn't really say much because there's not much in it. But So absolutely go check it out this Sunday and go check out my website, dishwithd.com. I have several little mini French toast loaves. This is only two points. I only have to count the six, four, seven bread. My eggs are zero. Everything else in there is a zero point amount. So I am going to indulge in this two point carrot cake, French toast bake. Yum. This is how we do it right here on Dish with D. Look at that. Yes, I'll put some maple syrup on top. Any syrup you would like. Caramel would be fabulous on this as well. But I'm going to do the old traditional maple. All right, let's make a WW recipe. In my bowl, I have two eggs. And I just was in the mood for an oatmeal square, so this looked really easy. I had everything. So I'm a little bit fallish, so I'm a little bit excited about that. So get your two eggs and whisked up. And I have the recipe right next to me. All right. So we need our one and a third cup of milk of choice I'm using uh, almond again you can use whatever you have on hand I'm actually going to use the almond coconuts because you know that might be interesting Vanilla extract, which I didn't bring out, but it's right here. Okay, everything will be at dishwithd.com, including the link to the WW app. And again, you can make adjustments, as I did. All right, we need some brown sugar. Quarter cup of brown sugar. Spices. I'm going with a little bit of a different mix. I'm going to put some apple pie spice, but again, if you don't have it, you could just use cinnamon. This is two teaspoons. I'm going to do one teaspoon because I'm doing apple pie. You do pumpkin would be really good too. baking powder because you know we want the sucker to rise don't we salt some freshly grated apple. I have about half a cup. It did, didn't really say, it kind of said two apples. I think it was two medium apples. I just did what I had that it needed to go. So it came out to about half a cup. Plus I didn't really want it too apple-y, truth be told. <laughs> okay. All right. Switch over to our whisk and add our oats. So we need how much oats? Two and a quarter, two and a half cups? No, two and a quarter cups, okay. Now I'm using quick oats, the recipe says old fashioned, but you know me, I like to beat my own drum.
I prefer these types of oats in these type of bakes. But again, use whatever you have. Like I said, the recipe did call for old fashioned. So I am actually the one getting Now you can let this sit overnight if you wanted before you bake it. It would just, you know, get a little bit more umptious if you wanted. Now, the recipe does say berries, but you know, Denise doesn't do berries, but I may do berries after I bake it on top when I go and eat it, perhaps would be good, but I'm just not into baked berries. And I do have in here some almonds, don't I? Yes, I do. Let me get my almonds. Keep my almonds in the fridge freezer. So what do I have in here? Third of a cup. Seriously? Alright, grab my third cuppy. I like the sliced ones. I don't know. I think you just get a better better coverage with nuts this way. But you know, use chopped. I don't care. You have what you need. You use what you have. I don't want you going out buying certain nuts. No, D uses sliced ones. No, you use what you have. There we go. Raisins, cranberries, chia seeds might even be good in here, but we're not doing chia seeds today. We could. Chocolate chips would be good, you know. So I am actually gonna bake this off tonight. But you definitely could, the WW app says it could sit overnight. We're gonna bake it off tonight. It smells really good. Fresh apples, apple pie. So what do we bake it at? Let's see, what's the app say? Okay. Three seventy-five. Preheat your oven. All right. I'm gonna do a. This one says eleven by seven or eight by eight. I'm gonna do eight by eight because I want fat bars. <laughs> Dee wants fat bars. So let me go grab my pan, get my oven preheated, and we'll be right back. All right. I got my pan all sprayed. We're just gonna dump. Again, you could use any size pan you want. Have any kind of bars you want. Like I said, you could do Lily's chocolate chips, but I'm just going plain Jane today. But I am going to put some of this Tasty Shakes oatmeal mix-ins of vanilla bean. Just shaking it on top. Again, you know, you could put Twix shakers, you could put Cine dust. I just made a nice little, little fun topping for the top. All right, we're going to put her in the oven. Let's see how long this has to bake here. 20 to 30 minutes. Okay. I will let you know how long she bakes. All right. She baked for 22 minutes. I remember this serves six. That's a nice, going to be a nice serving for four points. I don't have oats as zero point food anymore, but if you do, it could be lower than that. But look how good does this look? This could be a snack. It could be breakfast. Oh, I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm in the mood for an oatmeal bar. So it's going to be an oatmeal bar for me. I may get more servings out of it than that so it'll probably even be lower in points maybe i'll try to get eight servings we'll see but you will see it and what i eat in a day this week but yep yeah, this is a ww recipe that i de deified as i normally do but yep smells amazing it's apples it's fall it's fall y'all it's fall y'all all right 
I got one, two, three, four, five, ten bars. The recipe said six, so you know they're gonna be lower than than um, four points. Mm. These are awesome. Great, like I said, great little snack bar. You could probably toast these, but I'm going for the soft bar. So meal prep success. So it's nighttime and that wraps up another meal prep for this week. Couple recipes, tasting, always a pleasure. Thanks again for watching. Like I said, all the recipes can be found at dishwithd.com with the link to the WW app. This was the second one, the oat bars were WW recipe. The, what did I make? <laughs> oh, the original carrot cake French toast was mine. So I don't know if I'll have an, oh, that's not in the WW app. Honestly, it's easy to figure out because it's just basic ingredients. I think you can figure that one out because it's a one and done. So just add in what you have to and then the points. It's, it's a one and done recipe. So that's it for me. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoy these recipes, give them a thumbs up. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, join us on the Dish with D network for WW weight loss, healthy living, inspiration, support, recipes, and friendship. Thanks again. We will dish another day and it is dark out. Bye bye, my lovelies. I I need to, I'm glistening. Oh, talk to you later.